Hello, my beautiful friends, and welcome back to Alien Protocols. On this episode, we're going to explore a subject that's really fascinating to me. I've always been fascinated with it. And it's a notion that hasn't been proven. I'm not aware of any direct evidence of some of the aspects of it. But I think it flows in terms of logic that you can presume that this should be the case. And the notion is that there are nano UFOs. And these nano UFOs would likely be in swarms and they would be a bunch of different types in each group and these different types would be able to accomplish a bunch of different missions depending on the type of swarm and the type of mission etc but of course you would think there should be some hacking nanobots and some that could do a wide variety of things maybe drill <clears throat> maybe explode maybe lasers maybe lifting uh, who knows? But there would be a, a variety of them. And you could think about the most logical kinds, and you could presume those might exist. And these would range in size. There'd be some micro nanobots. There'd be some really, really small. And the swarms and the different types would be selected per mission. And I think with our current nanotechnology, it's pretty logical to assume that a more advanced civilization would have some really incredible ones. So the notion goes like this. The fractal UFO theory that Dr. Simeon Hine and I have discussed and pretty much agree with is that each craft, each UFO would carry or should carry, not every single one, but most would carry at least two other craft inside of them drones usually and UFO case history many times talks about two orbs or lit up small drones that accompany other craft so the fractal UFO theory states that the closer you get to the surface of the earth the more craft there would be the smaller they would be the greater need for invisibility also. <clears throat> There's a few other factors, but those are the main ones. And these smaller uh, UFOs would range from, you know, three feet. I've shown some videos of those really cool circular ones that have been seen all over the world. And they have this kind of meshy metal covering. They move at incredible speeds. They seem to move so fast that oftentimes they're not even seen. There's this great video on the beach of one flying between two people and they don't seem to notice. But you could imagine that these nanobots could do really incredible things. And they could explain some of the mysteries surrounding UFOs. There's m many stories of UFOs uh, involved with hacking the most secure location we have, basically, which is our nuclear sites. Getting inside somehow. Penetrating walls. And altering computers. There's a lot of stories about computer systems being hacked. Even Lieutenant Fravert speaks about the system somehow being hacked in his plane. They could do tremendous damage if they really wanted to. <clears throat> and it could definitely explain the most vexing cases. I don't think even a nuclear missile site could be safe from nanobots. They could easily be released from a craft, 
we wouldn't even see the release. And these could travel down the very secure air vents through the filtration units and right into the command and control facilities. And certainly hack any weapon system. So what do you guys think? Do you think nano bots exist already? I would love to hear your thoughts.